Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab The fitna between Ahl Sunnah The Salafiyun in this time Is something that should grieve the heart Because Ahl Sunnah should be one hand As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Wa i'tasimu bi habli la jami'in wa la tafarraku uh, adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And we live in a time when people are quick to call other people innovators without the right to do so, meaning that they probably do not possess the knowledge. So we have the layman engaging in supposedly affairs of jarwa ta'adil, of criticizing individuals and praising individuals and trying to implement those kawaid in principles when that requires also taqwa Allah aside from the knowledge which most of the people do not possess it also requires having taqwa that you're doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you speak about other individuals Ayyul Ahbab the Salaf of this Ummah were very careful and cautious unlike us in these matters and in all the matters of their religion and the Ayyam to Salaf, as it's mentioned in a statement about the Salaf, and this is in the sun, uh, Sunnah Lil Khalal, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, where he said, Ikhraj al Nas min al Sunnah Shadeed. He said, taking the people outside of the Sunnah is severe, meaning that this is a serious uh, affair. To, to declare someone an innovator is serious. So how much more so when you're declaring someone from Ahl Sunnah for a mistake they may have made or mistakes to be an innovator? Let's listen to how the Salaf were compared to us. Wallahu musta'an. Qala Imam Ad-Darami rahimahullah ta'ala Wal bid'atu amraha shadid Wal mansub ilayha sayyil hal bayna idhar al-muslimin فَلَا تَعْجِلُوا بِالْبِدْعَ حَتَّى تَسْتَيْكِنُوا وَتَعْلَمُوا أَحَقٍ قَالْ أَحَدَ فَرِيقَيْنْ أُمْ بَاطِلٍ The Shaykh said, uh, the Alam, Imam, said, Rahim Allah Ta'ala said, he said, uh, the affair of bid'ah is, is very severe. And to declare or associate someone uh, to this state and spread this between the Muslims is, is something evil. So do not be in a hurry to de declare someone an innovator until you are sure and that you know that one of the two parties is on the truth, uh, whether the, the one of the two parties is on the truth or on falsehood. Then he said, وَكَيْفَ تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ أَن تَنْسِبُوا إِلَى الْبِدْعَةِ أَقْوَامٍ فِي قَوْلْ قَالُوهُ وَلَا تَدْرُونَ أَنَّهُمْ أَصَابُوا وَالْحَقِّ فِي قَوْلِهِمْ ذَلِكْ أُمْ أَخْتَأُوا وَلَا يُمْكِنَكُمْ فِي مَذْهَبِكُمْ أَن تَقُولُوا لِوَاحِدْ مِنْ مِنَ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ لَمْ تُسِبْ الْحَقِّ بِقَوْلِكَ وَلَيْسَ كَمَا قُلْتْ then the Imam said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he said, and so how can we be, how can uh, you be in a hurry to associate bid'ah with a people regarding a statement that they said, and you are unaware if, uh, if they were correct, you know, in, in, in getting the haq in their statement, or if they had made a mistake. And it is not possible in your way to say to one of the parties, and especially if it's not possible for one of you uh, to declare about one of the two uh, groups that you did not, uh, you were not correct, you, you know, you were not on the truth with your statement. And it is not as you said. Meaning if you don't have the tools to declare someone a bid'ah and you don't know the truth, you don't know 
whether their statement is correct or not. How is it you can make a hukum? How is it you can make a ruling on someone? Then the Imam said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, فَمَنْ أَسْفَهُ فِي مَذْهَبِهِ وَأَجْهَلُ مِمَّنْ يَنْسِبْ إِلَى الْبِدْعَةِ أَقْوَامٍ يَقُولْ لَا نَدْرِي أَهُوَ كَمَا قَالُوا أُمْ لَيْسَ كَذَلِكَ وَلَا يَأْمِنْ فِي مَذْهَبِهِ أَنْ يُكُونُوا أَحَدَ فَرِيقَيْنَ أَصَابُوا الْحَقُّ وَالسُنَّةِ فَسَمَّاهُمْ مُبْتَدِعًا وَلَا يَأْمِنْ فِي دَعْوَاهُ أَنْ يُكُونُوا الْحَقَّ بَاطِلٍ وَسُنَّةُ الْبِدْعَةٍ هَذَا الضَّلَالِ بَيِّنْ وَجَّهَلْ غَيْرَ الصَّغِيرِ Then he said that whoever uh, in their, their way, in their, their, their madhab, uh, is ignorant about what they have uh, declared a person to have innovated, you know, about the, the status of a person's innovation or what they uh, are accusing the people of having done as bid'ah, then they should say, I do not know whether it is, whether what he said, uh, about what he said. Or, يقول, أقوام يقول, لا ندري أهو كما قالوا أم ليس كذلك. I don't know if it is as he said, or it is, it, or it is not like that. And he is not secure in this path to say about one of the two parties that they got the uh, that they achieved the haq the truth and the sunnah and then and then to declare them an innovator and they are not safe or and this person is not secure in declaring or in their propagation that the truth is false and that the sunnah is bid'ah. He said this is clear misguidance and not a minor form of ignorance. So this shows us, Ayul Ahbab, that we should not be quick and we should never speak about Affairs that we don't have knowledge about. So if we hear the indiv uh, an individual speaking about another individual and you don't know and you don't have the tools, you may trust this person, but you have to also fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you carry this knowledge and believe that so-and-so declared so-and-so an innovator, so I'm on that. You can, if you don't have the tools, you, it is permissible for you to blind follow and stuff, but you had better be careful and cautious about these these affairs and it shows us that we should not engage in those affairs which we don't have the knowledge and the ability to be involved with and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many sins and bless Ahl Sunnah to be one hand and bless the, the people to busy themselves with that which is going to benefit them in the grave and not been, and not busy themselves with that which is going to destroy them in the dunya and the hereafter. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.